Hey guys, here. Welcome to Market Monday, where we're gonna go through the ways to make coins, how people are doing it off snows, and uh, everything else going on in, with regards to the market and uh, what's on its way. So, no content looks like teas for tomorrow. Looks like it's gonna be a similar thing as last Tuesday, where it was empty. No team of the week, of course, because that's delayed till after the holidays. Looks like we will get something Wednesday. Let's go through that um, after a word from our sponsor. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. All right, so we're back. And the Steelers game is going on right now, so I might be looking at that and reacting it during the video. But I was hoping they were going to tease something out so it has something for content. But we got plenty to go through. So... I want you to take a look at the expirations on a lot of this stuff. Let me click my face and so I can point it out. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Right there, right? One day, 14 hours. Three days, 14 hours. And then there's, you know, other packs. There's, there's things through here through the zero chill. The re-rolls don't really have anything expi expiring on them, but the packs themselves do have a little bit of those numbers on them. So, one day and three days. Wednesday, Friday is kind of when we're expecting the next drop of content so just kind of expect that it's going to be like, probably mirrored to last week crayla has been talking about christmas day content for quite some time because it is coming on a friday so we get the 50 uh we get uh, the presents opening which should be a large market crash right wednesday like friday for because of the amount of presents being open zero chill snow is just gonna bottom out right it's just easy to predict we can see it a mile away i would not recommend having guys in your squad in from the zero chill promo uh, on Friday, right? Unless it's like a limited time card. Although, here's the thing. Isaiah Simmons, we'll get to that role in a little bit. He'll be in the role the whole time. So, I'm a little concerned about that. I'm also a little concerned, touching that subject before I forget. A lot of people are saying Isaiah Simmons is going to be one of the gifts. That would probably be, if that's true, the biggest letdown I've ever seen in the Zero Chill slash Christmas promo, um, whatever it's been called. Because here, here with the gifts, we'll show it out. There's this extra large gift, and we'll sort by A to Z. There's this extra large gift that is this color. And everybody's like, oh, that could be it. That could be the uh, Isaiah Simmons. That would be horrible, right? Because, like, uh, people have been th I, I think it's going to be something else, right? I really hope it's going to be something else. I think it's going to be something else. But if it is Simmons, I'm very disappointed. I got three of these ones. None of the rarest ones, sadly. I just stopped putting snow into that present roll. I don't know. Maybe if I have a lot of snow, I'll just I'll just send it the night before at presents, and uh, we'll see if we can't get one of the other ones because that one looks like kind of a beast card, whatever it's going to be. Maybe Bo Jackson or something. Who's traditionally been a present card? All right. So with that said, content probably not tomorrow, like I talked about the gap method. Check out that video if you don't know the gap methods. There's still silvers going for quite a bit of coins. Um, definitely the gap method still working. So I don't want to go through that one. I want to recap. What was it last week's Market Monday? And the snow roll, these numbers, come on. Ever since I switched over OBS, this thing got a lot worse. Um, let me see it. Come on, where the hell is the uh, properties? Chrome. Um, unknown, is it? Unknown. There it is. Okay. So this one. Here are the snow re returns. This is from Herky Fan. Shout out to him on the Discord. Um, with that... Expected roll. This is from rolling training and then selling cards on the market. Not quick selling. Selling cards on the market. He is profiting profiting on that. So uh, that's from like two weeks ago. It looks like it's still working, but it does die off at nights, he said. So the snow profit, if you want to look back, you can look back at, uh, I think it was last week. Was it last week or two? Yeah, I think last week's Market Monday we went through it. But basically the method was, I'll do it a little shorter here. Um, buy this thing with training. Snipe super cheap training. Buy this one, convert over, and just sell out of whatever card you get, right? You can also do out of position re-roll, which was okay, I think, earlier today when those cards were up, right? Cards always, when they first drop, are more expensive than they should be, right? They always come out, people demand it, want to do the new set. They're always overpriced, so it wasn't bad earlier today. I haven't looked pro uh, looked at packs or prices for a few hours on the pl out of position players, so that might be a little out of date. But uh, that one was working, but I don't know if it is anymore. Your, your mileage may vary there. I definitely want to go and take a look at, and we got plenty of other things to talk about here for uh, for coin making methods. I saw the gap packs and that uh, training one, which is something we've already done. 
I want to talk about the 88 set odds. Another thing that was put together, shout out to Herky. Also, he sent to this on the old Twitters. Ghost of Madden Future. Um, you may have seen my video this morning about how bad the roll was. It took me 82 rolls, and I could show it to you all down here. Um, I ended up sorting it out to show see odds of the 88, 90, and 92, 94. It took me 82 rolls to get a 94. I also only got 192 in those 82 rolls. So they are rare for this 88 plus roll. Something I definitely don't recommend to y'all to try. Like it, it cost me like 1.1 million coins to get an Isaiah Simmons who was going for what 800k or so. I haven't I haven't asked a lot about Isaiah Simmons and his price going forward. I can just answer it now. I do think it's going to go down over the next few days as people continue to roll it. Obviously, the hype of the day one, everybody's going to start getting them. People are going to keep rolling that stuff. There might be some more cards on their way for ghosts we don't know they might have another role for it i don't know about that either but generically over time as long as he's not exiting packs the price goes down so 871 where he's at right now feels like he'll just be there or down i might be wrong in this maybe people don't roll it as much going forward if there ends up being like more things that we want to pull out of that set maybe it will go down if, if it ends up you know nothing they never touch that ghost set again that ghost roll for him but he is in packs too right He's in packs for the rest of the promo too. So I don't really see it staying this high. Um, 880. So at, with every single increase here, my uh, roll 1.1 million coins worth of stuff looks a little bit better. So just know 88 overall goes to future Madden. Plus he's in packs. I, I think he's going to go down. And that's just generally how it happens. So. Isaiah Simmons is like the best defender in the game though. So I just want to talk to you about those odds. The odds are not good at all, but if Isaiah Simmons keeps going up, it's looking a little better every single time because one pull of him and you basically make it up, but it's like 1% chance of pulling him, right? Is that what the odds showed? Here, let me take a look at it again. The odds showed the chance of getting 94 is two out of 162. Probably about a 1% chance of getting the 94 with a 4.5% chance of the 92. It's probably actually 1.5% and 4.5%. Or it's round down. But generally, I think it's 6% chance of getting a 92 plus, as we saw with the other odds on uh, this one, which adds up 6.1%. So they're probably the same pack. Just to let you know. All right. What's next? Old sets. Remember I talked about how much I enjoy old sets? They generally look pretty good, right? Like, you guys have seen me do these theme builders on stream. If you haven't, you definitely stop by twitch.tv slash gutfox. Twit team of the week sets. I've been doing these things for these old legends. Uh, which one did I do? I did. I, I think I did Abraham, right? Abraham I did for, let's just count them out. I think I've even talked about this one before. 27, 27. What is that? 55 plus 9K times three. So 55 plus 27 is 70, 82. 82 plus 12. 94k for john abraham set now we're gonna go look at the block and we're gonna see this thing i'm guessing the power up is going for that much 94k for abraham okay let's just check it there was literally no power ups in the block when i looked earlier i'm very disappointed like everybody's always asking me about coin methods i give these things away and this is not the only set abraham let's look at right ends Okay, 80K plus 64K, 140K for a 90K set. Come on, come on, guys. I've literally gone through this one before, weeks ago, and it's still working. I, 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 nobody listens to me. Nobody listens to old man yelling at clouds. Oh, uh, maybe people are just lazy. I don't know. I just, I just feel like I'm literally yelling into a void when I say these coin making methods and people keep asking me about it. Are people just too lazy? I'm too lazy. <laughs> Maybe that's a problem. I'm too fucking lazy because I'm ripping packs, but the, 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 the methods are laid out before you and I'm not going to show you the other sets, right? Go through the other team of the week sets. The same thing. Go through team standouts. Go through other sets that have rare power-ups. The 50 was got to. Somebody tweeted me. I retweeted him with a Warren set right here for people making the, the Raiders theme team. This Warren set was insane. He profited like 2 million coins when he tweeted me. 
Just doing the Warren Sap, 32 of these 83s, selling them at an inflated price for his power-up and his regular card, and taking it to the bank. You must, if you play Mutt, and you play it where you don't want to spend money on it, you must be looking at old sets. There is so much coins in these things, and I can't go through every single one. One, because this video would literally take over an hour to go through every single profitable one. Two, you don't want me spoiling it, but this stuff is so rich. There is so many coins locked away in these sets. It's insane. I don't feel like I should tell you every single time, every single thing you need to do. Legend Souls, when they come out on Saturday morning, do those solos. Easy coins. Because people like la are lazy, just like me, and they buy them right away, power up the card, just get gameplay. Okay? Let's talk about investments next. Again, look through old sets. Investments. Now, we got the 50 on its way, right? There's six players left for the 50 first team. If we're thinking they're actually going to do a team, right? The only team cards left, if we look through the first team, are positions. Now, I have no idea why Michael Vick wouldn't get a 50 card, but there's already one quarterback. If there's only one halfback, like if we don't get Bo Jackson or Vick, that frees up some stuff because basically we only got right tackle, right guard. So if we're doing a team, three of the next six are offensive linemen. Boo. Okay. Guess what? We're also missing a right out to linebacker. LT. Let's take a look at LT. Taylor. He'll get an insane card, right? Lawrence Taylor always gets an insane card. So let's get some skin in the game here. Lawrence Taylor. Power up 23K. 23K to do a solo. His... 90 overall is 60K. How much is that versus training value? So 90 overall is literally going for training value. Now, I haven't updated it since this morning, or was this last night? I don't remember, but it's about accurate. So his 90 overall is going for training value. His, his power-up comes out of a god dang freaking solo. And his top legend card is going for training? All right, let's just invest. We're doing it, dudes. How much do we want to put down on the investment? Do I want to dip under 10 mil? Who cares? Right? And I don't, I don't think there's really a reason to buy his 91, right? There's no reason to buy this limited because they're both going to go, they both got to go into the power up to get the cheaper one. The thing is like, I don't know. He comes from a set. So his price might go back down. But if you look, let's look at the last guy that came from a set, right? Let's look at Larry Allen. I'm missing a lot of Steeler game now, and I hate it. What's the score? Is it still 0-0? Zero, zero? Yeah, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. All right, Larry Allen. What happened to him? Oh, ugh. All right, Larry Allen's 89 overall. His price. Pause. Autoplay. Sweet job. He went from like 39-41 to 60. Okay? So you could have got like 35-41-60. If we just do like last seven days. So he went up to 60K. And that's Larry Allen. That's a fucking offensive lineman, right? Now let's look at what his power-up did. When he got a new card. Prices. Seven days. He went from 6, 10, 22, 14. So that doubled in price also. So not bad for investment purposes for those cards. Gotcha. So if Lawrence Taylor gets one, he could go up. I, I'm, I'm hesitant to buy his, his power up right now. So I feel like that's a fine price. 23K is kind of expensive, just a solo. It might go up, but eh, I'm, I'm cool with that. I've already got my Lawrence Taylor. I'll take, I'll take my coins from that. Otherwise, the other one is like Vic. Vic, Lawrence Taylor, Bo Jackson. Who else are potential 50s? Offensive lineman, but I don't care. I'll take the L's if they go up. Mike Vick's at 9.4. His top card, 89 overall. Wait, no, his top card's at 91 overall. There it is. 67K. So that's like training too. Let's grab Let's grab one of those too. I grabbed one today on stream just to show people also. Vick, LT, who else could get one? Where, what about Deion Sanders? Why doesn't Sanders have a card yet? I feel like Deion Sanders is going to get a card too. Um, 
Yeah, no, because there's six people left. Three of them are offensive linemen. We can't do LT, Vic, Bo, Moss, Sanders. That's five. So two of those people wouldn't be able to get one if three of the next ones are offensive linemen. Deion Sanders at 16K for a power-up. What's his top card at right now? 91 overall at 76K. Uh, that's a little higher than training. Maybe I'll wait. Mark is signaling they expect Deion Sanders more than the rest of them. 80 over 80k for that one. Yeah. Anyways, Market Monday. Investments. Sets. Rerolls. Get method. Content. Market Monday's over. A lot of market stuff happening. We expect a big crash on Zero Chill Friday. That's what I want to talk about again. I think I mentioned it earlier in the video. It just seems likely, doesn't it? Not a, not a worldwide crash, right? Because these cars are zero chill only. So they're not going to do a whole lot to the training market unless some other things come out that day, right? Unless some crazy stuff happens otherwise that day. Um, I do expect this snow crash and it's a good day to buy. It's a great day for sniping. It's going to be a target rich environment for snipers out there, okay? So definitely snipe away during that time. And that's all I got to say about that. Get your snipe shoes ready for Friday. Wake up. Or maybe you already wake up, uh, you know, opening presents and stuff. But uh, hop on up when server change happens at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. I'll be live over on Twitch that day. But uh, until then, peace.